cargo freight is measured in the industry in this thing called 20 foot equivalent unit or TEU which is conveniently equal to one shipping container that is 20 feet long. Being able to carry only one container, a standard 18 wheeler has one TEU. A container ship like this one, the Cap San Lorenzo, has room for 9,600 containers and so has 9,600 TEU. Using energy efficiency statistics provided by the EPA, we can calculate the carbon emissions produced by both of these methods of transport. Unfortunately, it's half in Yankee measurements and half in metric, but we'll roll with it, and you're all here because you like mathematics, so it just adds flavour to the fun. A journey's carbon dioxide emissions in metric tons is calculated by the distance, multiplied by the size of the shipment, multiplied by the vehicle's emissions factor, which is a measurement of how much the vehicle pollutes. A list of emissions factors is handily provided in this document by the EPA. For the truck, we measure in miles and imperial tons. First thing you want to do is calculate the ton miles. One ton mile is the equivalent of shipping one ton, one mile. Keeping it simple, we'll do a 1,000 mile trip with 20 imperial tons of pairs. 1,000 miles times 20 tons is 20,000 ton miles. Next, we'll need the emissions factor. According to the EPA, for an average 18-wheeler, it's 161.8 grams of CO2 per ton mile. Multiplying the emissions factor by ton miles gives us 3,236,000 grams of CO2, or 3.24 metric tons of carbon dioxide. Now we'll make the same trip carrying the same cargo with the container ship. Unhelpfully, the EPA doesn't list cargo transportation statistics in Imperial. Instead, we measure in TEU kilometers. However, the formula is still the same and still produces the CO2 emissions in metric tons. Our payload of 20 Imperial tons would be about 75% of one container unit's maximum weight, and because you can't ship 75% of a container, we'll just round it up to one TEU. To find out the metric ton CO2 output of a cargo ship, we use TEU kilometers, shipping one TEU, one kilometer. But it's the same as the ton mile in principle. To find the TEU kilometer, we multiply the cargo of one TEU by the number of kilometers we are traveling. Our journey is 1,000 miles, so we'll convert that into kilometers, making 1,610 kilometers and multiplying that by 1 is just the same 1610. The emissions factor of our pair example, Asia to North America, is 59.1. Multiplying this by the TEU kilometers gives us 95,151. That's the weight of the CO2 emissions in grams, which is 0.095 metric tons of CO2. As you can see, Shipping one TEU produces much less CO2 than hauling it via truck, and that's just one container. If we use the ship from earlier at its full capacity of 9,600 TEU, it spews out 913 metric tons of carbon. The same journey with 9,600 trucks gives us, are you ready for this, 31,065,600 tons of CO2. Same cargo, same distance, wildly different impacts for the environment.